Hey folks, welcome back to the Vegas Down Channel. We're here in the northeastern part of Las Vegas, off of Cary Avenue. We're about to make a right and go eastbound on Cary Avenue on a very hot afternoon. Making this right off of Lynn Lane onto Cary, C A R E Y. And proceeding eastbound now. Joanne Lane there. And we've got Raymond Lane coming up here on the right. Let's see some more of the homes lining. Cary here, C A R E Y. This is an, obviously it's an older neighborhood. It's been here for some time. A little Camaro there, RS, Rally Sport. And there's a stop sign here, curiously, but uh, it's just a curve to the right. That's interesting. And some of the homes lining Sloan here. This is Sloan Lane. We are heading southbound now. See the fat few passing clouds there in the sky above. Old Chevy truck there on a the trailer. We come up here to Judson Avenue. We'll make a left and head eastbound on Judson. Some uh, community center or something there, I believe. As we pass over one of the many Las Vegas washes that we have here in town. When it rains here, the ground is so hard that the rain cannot soak into the ground. It just kind of floats along and goes wherever it can. So you end up with a lot of flash flooding. So they try and channel the water into these washes so that they will eventually flow all the way out to Lake Mead, which is our water source here for Las Vegas. And it's uh, dropped perilously in the last 40 years. I'm sure that has nothing to do with the fact that local governments keep rubber stamping all of the uh, new developments that come along their way from developers with paychecks for their uh, campaign contributions. I'm sure that has nothing to do with it. Volkswagen van again right there. I've seen one of those in a while. Come up here to Lee Avenue. Head southbound now for those following along at home. We're going to make it right now onto Bryce Canyon and show you Bryce Canyon Avenue here. Not, uh, not like the Bryce Canyon that's in Utah, in my humble opinion. And uh, in the distance there up to the left, beyond that tree, the Circa stands in the distance there. RVs lining the roadway. I see a lot more of this ever since COVID. A lot of folks parking RVs along the sides of the road. And I know they've seen that in LA too, but uh, it certainly hasn't uh, spared Las Vegas. Got a truck up on jacks there. Some windmills there that are not really moving because the wind isn't moving. Winds were about four miles an hour today earlier at noon when we did our noon report here on the Vegas Don Channel. But now it appears that they have pretty much died down. This is Great Smoky Avenue. We're going to make a left and head back eastbound on Great Smoky. This road is in pretty rough shape, too. Residential streets. 
here to Mount Hood Street, appropriately named, in my humble opinion. This is Mount McKinley Avenue. We'll make a right onto Mount McKinley here. Show you Mount McKinley. Looks like an 80s style home there. The second floor up there. More pods for storage. Saw those in other parts of the neighborhood. or something stuck up in the power line overhead here, passing over the roadway. Come up here to Lee Street. speed limit sign. Homemade. Stop speeding 25. <laughs> Go back northbound here on Toyabi. This is a four lane street here. It's got these uh, overhead transmission lines, but uh, it's not really a major thoroughfare of any sort. In fact, I'm doing 25 and bye bye BMW. So, uh, no one seems to pay any attention to the uh, speed limits here. So we are back here on Judson once more. Let's see if there's any areas that we missed previously. Old Mazda Miata there, an old Volvo station wagon. Alan Harper drove a Volvo station wagon, I think, in two and a half men. That old van again again. We're make a right here on the Lee Street. Boy, they really climb right up your butt here. They are speeding galore in this neighborhood. They do not give you any... <laughs> any leeway when it comes to doing the speed limit. There's a trampoline there. Trampolines tend to be a huge hazard when the uh, windstorms come blowing through town. They get blown around, knocked around all over town. Well, it's a camp over. This house here. And there's a chain link fence behind a chain link fence there. We're going to make a right here on the Mount Hood again. These units here seem to have wall unit ACs, so no central air for these folks. As we turn right, go southbound here on Mount Hood. Just a general reminder, please do like, follow, and subscribe to us on YouTube and on TikTok. It helps recommend us to other viewers on YouTube and TikTok. Mount McKinley. And then Yellowstone here, which goes down to uh, Lake Mead. Curves around and hits Lake Mead. The, uh, Red light up ahead is Lake Mead Boulevard, East Lake Mead Boulevard. It travels the entire eastern end, and then you have these homes over here on the east, on the east side of Mount Hood that look a little bit newer. Here you've got another 7-Eleven on the left here. You've got a green light, we're not gonna waste that. And there's a car wash right there, East Lake Mead Boulevard, back that way. There is a motorcycle cop that tends to like it, that likes to hang out up here, but it car says it's 117 degrees or 47 degrees Celsius, so I don't imagine a motorcycle cop's going to be hanging out right now. Nonetheless, we don't break any traffic laws here on the uh, Vegas Don Channel. That's the spot he likes to hang out right there off of Viewpoint. There's a Hummer right there. 
I am doing 25 miles an hour and I've got a Ford Focus right up behind me here. It's the journey here on the Vegas Don Channel.